Shalom, shalom. Peace, Israel. It's about to call for Pops and Babylon Camp down in Tampa, Florida. I'd like to give our glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Chaha Kudash. A double honor to the elders and apostles, the great millstone who do indeed teach the real well. And peace and salutations to the whole that's scattered abroad. In today's lesson, I want to touch up on, you know, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Okay? So when you think everything is all safe and good, that's when the Lord comes in and gets you, man. All right? We'll start off in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right? We understand that. And no man knows the day or the hour, the day nor the hour, except the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. But we know that the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night, man. All right? Which the day of the Lord is consistent. You know, in the midst of World War III, when those nukes get, when those ICBMs get shot off, we know the Lord is on his way, man. All right, well, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is gonna be here. All right, but we understand that you know that day is gonna come as a thief in the night, which means it's gonna catch people off guard. You know, a thief, a thief doesn't come when you expect it. A thief comes when you least expect it. So that's how the Lord is gonna come through. All right, when people are living their lives thinking everything is all good, boom, the day of the Lord. And what what did the scripture say about the day of the Lord? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. There is no lightness in it, man. There is no light in it, man. All right. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then shall sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You know, so you have this thing now, you know, where gas prices were high, you got these lockdowns and things like that. You know, when the lockdown starts to calm back down, you know, and those, uh, those yabs that Esau was trying to get you to get, you know, they're not pressuring down on that no more. All right, people are starting to, you know, Say peace and safety, peace and safety, and even though now we know we have another lockdown coming, man. All right, so within that, you know, Jake, we might have another lockdown, and then Jake will eventually gonna be like, oh, it's gonna get better, it's gonna get better, and you know, gas prices might drop back down, man, after they go up. You know, Esau maybe might, you know, open up a few little things here and there. People are gonna start to say, oh, peace and safety, or oh, we're good, America's going back to normal. It says, then shall sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with a child. You know, like a woman giving child, a woman giving, it's like a woman giving birth to a child. You know, when she has those, uh, those birth pains, you know, those, those, those uh, if it's, uh, the con, the contractions, it's like, yeah, I couldn't think of the word. It was right there. I couldn't think of it, but the contractions, you know, it's going to be like contractions. And the pain is just, it's going to keep coming, man. It's not going to stop. It's nonstop. Okay. It says, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness. You brothers that serve Yahweh, you, you know the Lord, you're, you're, in, you're within this truth. And you're not in darkness, man, because you understand that. You know, this is why brothers are, are, are seeking Yahweh, Yahweh, daily, seeking him diligently, putting in that, putting in the work, man. Okay. You're not in darkness because you understand you're watching for prophecy. That's the biggest thing. Prophecy, all right, is what keep is what was keeping you out of that darkness too. You, you know, with your high It says, But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. You know, so that day is not gonna be a surprise to you, brothers. Your brothers are not uh, naive or ignorant to that day. All right. It says, Ye are all children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. And that's the point, especially being a prophet. Watch and be sober, man. Be diligent. Okay, that, that is the whole goal. What are we watching for? We're watching for a prophecy. Okay? And that's what's, like we said, that's what's, that's what's keeping brothers out of that darkness, man. That's what's keeping brothers on their P's and Q's to understand so that they don't, don't take them uh, as, as a thief, man. Okay? It says, for they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. You know, whether you live or die, you know, you be for Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shah, you're for the Lord. Yeah, but the Lord didn't appoint us to wrath, man. The Lord actually loves, the Lord loves his people, man. All right? You think the Lord wants to see his people uh, go off and sin? You think the Lord wants to put his people to death? No. But the wages, the wages of sin is death. You know, our people, uh, the Lord's people, they, they sinning right now, man. All right? So the wages for that is, is, is death. So the Lord's going to have to put two-thirds Jake to death on this side, man. All right? But the, the ultimate goal, it says what? To, to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who died for us, 
that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. You know, that's the ultimate goal, to reign with our Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Okay, and with that, I'm saying that to say this, you know, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes Cush, chapter 5 and verse 7 says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. So don't, you know, when it's time to do a video, when I speak, you better speak to myself, you know, because I always got to remind myself of this, you know, hey, stay on it, man. You know, do what you got to do. You know what you got to do. All right? Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and putting that off from day to day. Don't be like, oh, I'll do this video tomorrow. Oh, I'll go get this done tomorrow. Nah, man. Do it today. All right. If the idea popped up, strike the iron while it's hot. Get in, get in the mode, man. Get, get to it. You know? Don't put it off. Because when you do that, what's going to happen? It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, you have by shall come forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish, perish in the day of vengeance. So the day... Or well, you thinking that everything is all good, you know, you're putting off from day to day, you're like, man, the Lord ain't gonna do nothing. I'm, I'm safe, I'm all right. You're like, man, let me go leave the house and go up the road right quick. Next, you know, boom, car accident, you get hit by an 18 wheeler or something, you know? you know? When you think you're safe, you think you all good, that's when the Lord come and get you, man. The Lord send that death angel out. <laughs> him, you see him right there? Hey, go, 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 go get that soul. You know, go require of that soul. And that, that, that's how the Lord will get you, man. So our brothers walk on eggshells and deal with the Lord, man. You don't want to piss the Lord off. You know, you don't want to uh, bring the Lord to anger because brothers are still repenting for sins of their past life too as well, man. You got sins that you're creating in this life willingly and unwillingly, man, and sins that you have in your past life too, man, that, that the Lord can still get angry with you about, man. So you don't want to play with your high boss, shimmy, high shot. You don't want to play with the Lord, man. You want to try your best to be on the Lord's good side. Don't, don't, don't wait to try to turn to the Lord, man. Hey, turn to your high boss, shimmy, shot now. Hey, turn to the Lord, seek his face, man. You know, pray pray to the Lord, man. And that's the whole goal. And jump to Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord, your Habash Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Alright, this is the time where the Lord may be found. This is the time where the Lord is near, man. Alright, the Lord is near and he's listening. He's watching. He's praying. The Lord is answering the, the prayers of the elect and those who believe on him, man. You know, so never feel afraid to, you know, turn to the Lord, man. Okay, the Lord is our Father, the Father of Fathers. You should always want to pray to the Lord, you know, get some understanding, have the Lord direct your steps, man. Okay, and that, that, that's the whole point of this video, is to seek the Lord while he may be found. Don't tarry when coming to, uh, to the Lord, man. Okay, it says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. The Lord abundantly pardons, man. The Lord will abundantly pardon your sins, man. But you, what, what do you have to do? You have to uh, come seek the Lord, man. And what is abundantly going to? In large quantities, man. Extremely. Okay, the Lord will uh, extremely pardon you, man. He will forgive you of your sins, but you have to seek the Lord, man. All right. Pardon is to reprieve forgiveness. So the Lord... The Lord will extremely forgive. Okay? You look, look the words up. Abundantly pardon goes into extremely forgive. So the Lord will extremely forgive, man. Okay? For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways. It's like it, neither are your ways, my ways, said the Lord. Okay? So we're not, Jacob, are not in the same level as the Lord. You know? We're in these fleshly bodies. The Lord isn't, isn't uh, in a fleshly body, man. Okay, so the Lord's the way the Lord think and the way the Lord move and the, the, the way the Lord works, he he's not he's not like us, man. The Lord is above us. Okay, shoot, the Lord is in, in control of all things. It says, "For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts." So that, that that proved the point right there. You know, the Lord is higher than us, man. All right, so don't don't be afraid to seek your high boss, and shine, turn to the Lord, man. Okay, you know we get. You know, that, that was really the point down there in that, you know. Seek Yahweh Shimei while he may be found. And it ain't no tearing to turn to the Lord, man. Because the Lord will destroy you and put and send judgment out on you when you least expect it. And the Lord, hey, the Lord might might not, uh, you know, put you to death. But the Lord definitely is definitely going to judge you to the point that where you fear. And brother said, nah, you'd rather listen and get corrected by our brother than have to get corrected by the Lord. Because when the Lord corrects you, <laughs> what does the scripture say? For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways are your ways. The Lord going to correct you in a, in, a, in a different way. Then the brothers will on this side, you know. So seek the Lord, man, because you don't, you don't want that the father of fathers to bring out his belt, because they, they ain't gonna be looking too good for you, man. You ain't gonna have no choice but to serve the Lord, man. So do it willingly, man. All right, you know. So 
Your heart by desire the lesson was edifying and straight to the point. And I'd like to give our glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashimi Havashad Bashim Chaha Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone who do indeed teach real well. And peace and salutations to the hope of the scattered abroad. Till next time, I do say Shalom and a Baba Ball soon.